In this video, I'll be using PowerShell to configure regional settings in Windows 11. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. Also, in this page, you can find a few links to Microsoft documentation, the snippet that I will be using to configure the regional settings, and also links to my other videos that contain more information about each command that I will be using in my snippet. Also, this snippet covers only regional settings. It does not cover the user interface language. Language. If you want to change the user interface language, you can check out the video that I have here in the links in the bottom of the page. Also, the snippet that I will be using is a mix of commands that are making system-wide and user-wide changes. For example, setting the time zone is a system-wide change and this will affect all users on the computer and setting keyboard layouts is a user-wide change that will affect only the user that is executing this snippet. Also, the command that I have here in the bottom of the snippet will copy all the user-wide changes like keyboard settings to welcome screen and also new user accounts that will be created after the snippet will be executed. And as you can see here, the snippet that I will be using will set all the original settings to Hungarian. It will set the culture, the system locale, it will add a keyboard, it will add Hungarian layout and also English United States layout. My English United States layout will be a secondary keyboard and also setting the Windows home location. And in here I'm setting the time zone to Budapest. And now I will click on the button right here to copy the PowerShell snippet and then I will go to my Vember workstation where I have this Windows 11 virtual machine. And I will be executing the PowerShell snippet inside of this virtual machine. But before that I want to show you my current regional settings. So for that I will go to my start menu, settings, then I will go to time and language, date and time. Here you can see my current um, time zone, it's Helsinki, Kiev, Rig, Sofia, Tallinn and Vilnius. Then let's go to language and region. Here we can see that I only have a single keyboard lay layout, English United States. Then the country or region is set to United uh, States. And if I go to regional settings in the old application, here we can see that the format is English United States. And here for the language for non-unicode programs, is also set to English United States. So everything more or less is set to English United States. Anyways, now let's execute the PowerShell snippet and for that I will open my PowerShell window and then run it as administrator, click yes here. Let's insert the snippet. Let's press enter. The snippet executed successfully. We didn't get any warning messages or errors. Then let's minimize this. As you can see, some settings have been already changed, but some of them, for example, like this one that you see here, requires a system reboot. So before checking everything out, let's close everything and let's restart the computer. And let's wait a bit. And the computer restarted successfully. If I go to my start menu now and then settings, then time and language, date and time. Here we can see for our time zone, we have Budapest now. Let's go back. Then language and region. And here we can see that we have two keyboard layouts. The first one is Hungarian and the second one is English United States. For the region, we have country or region set to Hungary, regional format to Hungarian. Now let's check the old regional settings application. For the format we have Hungarian and here in the administrative or current language for non-unicode programs we have Hungarian Hungary. And this means that the snippet is working just fine. And that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and see you in the next one.